Welcome back. Earlier on Friday, President Abdel Fattah Sisi held a press conference uh, with both Prime Ministers of uh, Spain and Belgium, uh, uh, His Excellency, uh, the Spanish Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez and the Belgian Prime Minister uh, Alexander de Croo, uh, where he tackled uh, the latest development inside uh, the Gaza uh, uh, Strip and also the exchange of uh, hostages and Egypt's support uh, to uh, the Gaza Strip. And we're very delighted to be having with us live over the phone Her Excellency Ambassador of Abbasim, former Assistant Foreign Minister. Good morning, Your Excellency. Good morning. How are you doing? Uh, uh, thank you. Thank you so much. It's a real pleasure having you. Uh, of course, uh, observing uh, the press conference and the visit of uh, the both Prime Ministers of Belgium and Spain and meeting uh, President Abdel Fattah Sisi holding a press conference and uh, uh, expressing their views about the latest developments concerning the Gaza crisis is such a good, uh, uh, I mean, step. Uh, now we have, uh, I mean, our foreign policy is uh, affecting a great role. Uh, I mean, the, 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 the scene of the press conference that was held between uh, the, that tripartite meeting, I mean, Egypt, Spain, and Belgium, uh, together with, with uh, I mean, um, uh, also a mediation that consisted of the United States, Egypt, and Qatar. It's a good step on Egypt's part. Egypt is playing an effective role uh, in that particular issue. If you like to elaborate. Yes, definitely. We are going, we are having the sort of a glimpse of hope that this um, uh, truce of four days uh, could be extended and established as a longer term uh, ceasefire, which mm. will allow uh, the, uh, the, the, I wouldn't say the recovery of Gaza, but would allow all humanitarian aid to be uh, entered into the Gaza Strip, uh, wounded uh, women, elderly, uh, children uh, having the uh, required uh, medical care, especially mm. that most of the hospitals in the Gaza Strip are not now uh, in function. As far as the Egyptian efforts, we have. Uh, clearly heard the president say that 70% of the uh, humanitarian aid that has been mm -hmm. uh, uh, allocated for uh, Gaza and for the Palestinian people in Gaza, whether in the north or in the south, 70% of this humanitarian aid is uh, coming from Egypt. Uh, exactly. That besides also the effort that Egypt is doing to keep the uh, crossing, the Gaza, the Rafa crossing open. And the president has um, ensured and has also stressed that this crossing has never been uh, closed on the Egyptian side, despite the four times it was bombarded by the Israeli forces. Uh, why Egypt is the point uh, or the focal point now of all contact, all uh, uh, diplomatic matters that mm. are taking place since the beginning of the war is because it's historically it's well, it's well known uh, uh, abiding by the Palestinian cause, but also because it believes in the importance of establishing a, last, a lasting and just peace in the region with the idea of the two states until now. Yesterday, the president has uh, courageously and clearly said that unfortunately 30 years of talks and slogans about the two states um, has exhausted its standards. 
and that now we have to think about the importance of the declaring of a Palestinian independent state that would be the uh, object or the subject of the recognition of the whole world. Right. Uh, of course, before we get into details of exchange of hostages and, if, uh, and uh, evaluating if this is going to be uh, a good uh, helping step towards uh, broadening or extending uh, the truth, uh, President Abdel Fattah Sisi have expressed his concern that uh, through uh, these uh, many efforts for mediation, towards uh, a better situation for the stranded innocent civilians inside the Gaza Strip. Um, and of course, the entry of uh, the um, hundreds of trucks that are going to flow uh, to the Gaza Strip through the four days. He also ensured that there should be a priority for securing a safe zone uh, for the uh, uh, Palestinians uh, to, to settle in because of the uh, uh, houses, uh, their houses that, was, that were bombarded. These are also concerns besides the aids, the medicine, besides the food that should be delivered, the water. I mean, securing safe zones, securing that uh, um, the occupation forces should respect their word, uh, not the firing over uh, the people while trying to uh, move from one place to the other. Uh, respecting the right of patients to be treated inside hospitals and not bombarding hospitals and killing children. I mean, these are also concerns that were raised by uh, the president uh, besides delivering the aid to the Palestinian people. Of course, and I will confirm that he has raised and stressed uh, times and again is that Egypt rejects completely all attempts on the Israeli side to, <coughs> to let the scenario of the uh, uh, insane uh, migration and displacing of Palestinians outside Gaza or even uh, in other places. And uh, by which the uh, occupying uh, authority of the of Israel is trying to empty the uh, Gaza Strip from its inhabitants and gradually sort of diluting the whole Palestinian cause until it disappears from mm. the conscience and the political agenda of the uh, international community. Uh, he said also uh, that. Uh, Egypt has been working um, on this particular crisis and war since the first moment of its um, advance. And uh, that we have created, and under this supervision, we have a crisis management uh, cell that comprises all parts of the government and the different uh, forces that are of concern to uh, this uh, war. And mm. uh, it was a decision by Egypt whether the state or the region to be uh, among the first uh, role to help and to extend assistance to our brothers uh, and sisters in uh, Palestine. He also uh, very clearly uh, said that now, especially with the approach of uh, Wilson uh, and becoming very close, there must be an immediate solution, even if temporary, for uh, those displaced people uh, who have been subject to get out of the room, all the rooms have been completely destroyed in the Gaza Strip. And of course, to ensure a sort of regular uh, um, um, provision, assistance, medical assistance, fuel to be uh, entered into the Gaza Strip, 
it and um, to ensure that all patients uh, will be and wounded people will be able to uh, uh, receive a certain uh, medical care. Let's not forget the thousands of bodies that have not yet been, uh, um, uh, I mean, treated in a dignified way for the dead. Uh, mm. need, uh, uh, Ambassador, be... Ambassador Wafe, uh, talking about, uh, of course, the uh, prominent role of Egypt with its foreign policy, its driving force to uh, try to evoke uh, the European countries, evoke some Arab countries to be able to push them to participate in uh, this uh, particular process of supporting and empowering the stranded innocent uh, Palestinians inside their own land uh, oppressed by the uh, Israeli occupier. Uh, of course, there is a great role that is played by Egypt. But, but in this particular, uh, um, I mean, uh, incident or conflict, let me not call it war because it's not a war, of course. It is, it it, is man. It is a war. Of course, it's not a war by any means. It's a complete ethnic cleansing done by uh, some people who are uh, committing genocidal crimes against, against humanity. But at the same time, it is very different this time because it has attracted and gathered a lot of supporters worldwide uh, because of the, the oppression that was seen on uh, live uh, by the whole world that was, that was imposed over hospitals, over uh, uh, unarmed civilians, over uh, uh, this, uh, the people, the faking the news and everything. Do you feel this time it's different? It's different because uh, a great shift has taken place in the political uh, positions of uh, many countries in the world, mm. uh, from total support of Israel to shifting this position to uh, understand and reject the atrocities uh, that they imposed on the Palestinian people in Gaza, while at the same time still uh, uh, condemning what happened on the 7th of October. Nevertheless, uh, it's very clear that the international community has realized that there were an, an acute um, a sort of uh, uh, total punishment and global punishment for all the Palestinian people, whether civilians uh, or not, women, children, elderly, uh, everybody has been subject to these atrocities mm. without even differentiating between a military and a civilian, between a hospital and a, a military camp between a school that has become a shelter for mm. thousands of, of people course. and between uh, other military uh, plants. Right. On that mission, and for mm. Egypt, we are part of the uh, campaign that started as a result uh, the uh, joint summit of the uh, um, organization of Islamic countries and the Arab League. Uh, right. We are part of this delegation. Uh, our Minister of Foreign Affairs has been visiting China. They have been visiting exactly. Russia, France, mm. England to explain and re-explain and to campaign for a just and uh, uh, a lasting solution uh, mm. for these atrocities taking place and right. having a Palestinian state. Exactly. Uh, on, exactly. On the exactly. other hand, mm. as you said, the meeting mm. and the press conference of the two prime ministers right. of uh, Spain and uh, uh, Belgium yesterday with our president, uh, president the, um, uh, the warmth 
and the commitment, the body language of these two European countries uh, have shown how the, uh, exactly. the uh, public opinion has shifted. Exactly, Your Excellency, uh, Ambassador of Basim, your former assistant foreign minister, I'd like to thank you. Uh, so much uh, talking to the breakfast show and by this we come to the end of this edition of the breakfast show many thanks to all of you until we see you again tomorrow morning that's a good bye